I mean, hopefully, um, the future of the city girls can be the city girls. JT and Young Miami went from ride or die besties to straight up frenemies who barely even acknowledge each other's existence. And according to JT, it's all thanks to Diddy. Rumors about their split have been floating around for ages, but now they've both confirmed below. And they're not just ending their duo, their friendship is done. Rumors have been swirling forever about the city girls, right? But now it's like officially official drama central because JT just spilled the tea and confirmed what we all kind of suspected. Her and Miami? Yeah, they're not vibing anymore. Turns out they only want to focus on their solo careers now. That's that's cool and all, but usually artists dip their toes into solo waters without actually breaking up the group. But no, not these two. So did anyone expect this breakup? They were just starting to get big in 2018 or 2019, especially after they showed up in Drake's In My Feelings they were tight since their teenage years, starting their rap journeys together. Plus, they hustled hard, even performing in strip clubs at the age of 17. But then, JT got hit with bad timing, a two-year sentence for aggravated identity theft. At first, fans thought Miami might go solo, and who could blame her? But no, she stuck by JT's side holding it down. Miami even did solo performances, making sure JT got props every time she talked about the city girls. When JT finally got out in 2020, she was all about showing love to Miami for holding it down. But in 2022, fans started picking up on some major tension between Miami and JT. It was like Miami wasn't vibing with JT like before. People noticed Miami keeping her distance from JT in public, and some thought it was because she was pretty, thinking she was moving up and leaving JT behind. Young Miami launched Carisha Please, scoring her own talk show on Diddy's Revolt TV, and even begging a BET award. And people couldn't stop talking about how Miami was outshining JT. And whenever JT got into online drama, Miami stayed silent. But when Miami had issues, JT had her back. Remember that Cardi B and JT feud? Miami stayed quiet, which got people wondering why she wasn't backing up her girl. And then JT was a no-show at Miami's birthday bash last year. But it really got serious when JT unfollowed the City Girls' official Instagram page. In an interview, she hinted that the end might be near, talking about their men causing a split between them. And I pray that our egos does not, like, separate it. Mm -hmm. Or the internet, or... Now, JT is dropping a solo EP, and she's already talking about herself as a solo artist. Fans believe that if Miami had kept the focus on the group, they wouldn't be in this mess. But then they drop news about a new album, Raw, confusing everyone about their breakup status. Turns out it's not new. They announced it in 2022, but pushed it forward due to Beyonce's album drop. Insiders confirmed it was the same album finally released. And from the looks of it, not only did they break up as a duo, but they're also no longer friends. They don't hang out. They don't acknowledge each other. It's like they're on totally different wavelengths. JT just dropped her first solo single, Sideways, a few days back. And people are reading into the lyrics like it's a gossip column. So after T and Miami fell out, Miami started hanging out with Ari Fletcher. And now they're supposedly besties. Fans think Miami Miami replaced JT with Ari, and that's got JT feeling some type of way. In her new song, JT raps, I ain't friendly, I don't with y'all, try to take who? It ain't enough of y'all, so phony, got me looking at him sideways, I'll never be the same, the old days. Yeah, it's pretty much confirmation that the city girls are done, but wait, it gets shadier. Right after JT dropped her song, Miami announced the launch of her Yams era. Fans dragged Miami for not being supportive of JT, and accused her of trying to steal JT's shine. Instead of hyping JT's new song, Miami went radio silent and announced her own thing. One fan wrote, Young Miami rolling out this new era during the middle of JT's rollout for her new song Sideways is interesting, to say the least. Another one said, The best thing JT did was pursue her solo career because this whole song is not it. Young Miami has that annoying voice that turns you off the minute you press play on any City Girls song. Reports say JT feels betrayed and blames Diddy for driving a wedge between them. Allegedly, Diddy convinced Miami she didn't need JT and was better off solo as Carisha. And that might explain why Miami's been leaning more into her Carisha brand lately, but some think JT and Miami just grew apart and are just doing their own thing now. One fan tweeted, I don't think JT and Carisha beefing. That's the problem now with this society and young women, always assuming the worst. Why can't they just want to do things separately? They've never claimed to be best friends, so why does it matter if they're making platforms for themselves? So do you think this is it for the City Girls? Is it Diddy's fault or Young Miami's for listening to him in the first place?